Thanks for watching THP TV. Be sure to catch all of our programs and check out all of our great sponsors. Have a great week. Hello everyone, welcome back to Showcase with Jana Jennings. I'm your host and today I have an awesome guest, Hunter Flanagan, and I can't wait for you to hear some of his original songs and some of the projects he's been working on after this. I just keep falling, falling Cause something about you drives me crazy All the other roses have far fewer thorns Feel so right, hurt so bad and Just myself to blame. I'm drawn to you like a flame. But all the other roses, all the other roses wouldn't be the same. Careful, so. Wild, wild wind, protected heart, I let you in and just keep falling, falling, cause something about us drives me crazy. All the other roses have far fewer the myself to blame. I'm drawn to you like a flame. But all the other roses, all the other roses wouldn't be the same. Something about you, something
All the other roses wouldn't be, no All the other roses wouldn't be the same Same Thank you everyone! Thank you so much! My guest today is a very awesome SAG actor who you've probably seen in quite a few movies, but he's also a very talented, award-winning country singer and musician. He's open for some really big names in country music, and all the way from Carrollton, Georgia, 17-year-old singer-songwriter Hunter Flanagan. Welcome to the show, Hunter. Hi, thank you for having me. It's thank great to so be here. Thank you so much for coming. So let's start off with the basics. When did you start playing music? What inspired you to pursue a career? like this? Well, I've always loved music. Um, from the time I was 16 months old, I knew all the songs and dances to The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> uh, so music kind of shaped my life. I mean, my parent, or my mom sang, my grandmother sang, and all through growing up, you know, in the car, we listened to like 80s hair bands, like Queen, like Def Leppard, and then when I was in the car with like my dad and my brother, we'd listen to country songs, and I just, I always loved music. and. You know, about six years old, I won a small thing called a Carrollton Idol. And ever since then, I started singing and doing more than uh, when I got to be around 12 or 13, I started pursuing it seriously. So you said you listened to country music in, in one car and then like 80s music in the, in the other. What made country and traditional music the genre of choice for you? Well, sadly, rock isn't really around anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, living in Georgia and... All my friends listen to country music. My fa like I said, my family listen to country music. I listen to it. And I always took to the older, like the Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson generation of country. And I wanted that to try to make a comeback. And I, when I started singing, I met a couple other singers that were also doing the same kind of thing. And it just kind of stuck. How many instruments do you play? Uh, let's see. I've played guitar for about two years now. Um, I've played percussion for about three or four, uh, ukulele for about three. I've played mandolin for a couple months, banjo, um, concertina, tin whistle, harmonica. That is a lot of it. Uh, I think that's about it, actually. <laughs> so, is your goal to like be able to play all all the instruments that you can? Yeah, you know, jack of all on? trades, master of none, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So, um, I want to talk about some of your musical influences. Who, um, you talked about, you mentioned Johnny Cash and just some other, like whenever you are making music, what are you thinking about when you, when you, what do you want your sound to be? Well, I love the traditional country sound. I love the cleanliness of it. I love that it doesn't take much to sound great. I, um, I love that just a guitar, a bass guitar and, you know, a set of drums can make something so profound. I don't think music needs all this stuff that it has right now, and that's what I try to show and what I do. Well, um, you have a, a song that you're going to play for us, and I want you to tell us the story, and we'll we'll hear it after the after the break from the sponsors. But I mm -hmm. I'd love to hear the story behind your song. Well, it's actually the first song I ever wrote. Uh, it's called We Ran. Now, when I was about nine years old, uh, my brother he was riding a four wheeler home. Uh, to our house from a mud hole they all went to and he got in a wreck and uh, he was in a coma for 29 days um, they said he'd never walk or talk again they had to remove part of the frontal lobe of his brain they said that if he did survive which was a less than one percent chance that he'd basically just you know lie there he wouldn't do anything but we told the doctors we weren't going to listen and um, we kind of took things into our own hands, especially like my mom and my dad. And, um, you know, now he walks, he talks, he dates, he drives. He's, I mean, he's actually at the hotel right now because he didn't want to come. But <laughs> if you met him, I mean, he's just like every other southern hick from Georgia. And I wrote the song to show what it was like being a child and what I saw through my eyes the entire experience. That just goes to show what faith can do. And I can't wait to hear your song. So we will, we will hear your song after this.
Hello, I'm Dorsey Lund, and I'm in the entertainment business, but I am also a author of a book, soon to be released, so stay tuned for more information. But in the meantime, when you're here in Pigeon Forge, please come by and visit us here at the All Season Suites on Dollywood Lane, right here in Pigeon Forge, where all the excitement is going on. Thank 
And it came from such from such a um, a really difficult experience, and and so I I love to see people taking a hard experience and turning it into into something that can help someone else. And do you think that when you were writing that song, did you know that you know maybe that song could help somebody that's going through the same thing or a similar experience? Um, I'm not gonna lie. At the time, I really didn't. Uh, I used to tell people because I had just started singing, and I told them that I wasn't a songwriter. I didn't write songs, but then one night I was thinking about the whole experience, and um, I just really needed to get it out on paper. And once I wrote it, uh, I started performing it, and people started coming forward saying that, uh, sorry, I'm tearing up, <laughs> they, um, that they had people whose similar things had happened to them. And then, actually, maybe last year, um, the official TBI traumatic brain injury Facebook page shared it and so many people saw it and they messaged and they talked about how it helped their experience, it helped them see that there was hope. And I didn't know at the time but I'm so happy that it can actually help people. And I think that is what is so valuable about writing songs about personal experiences and, and sharing what you what you went through and what you felt in your heart to help someone else because your personal experiences that you go through can help someone else who's going through the same thing. When you are writing songs, do you normally pull from really personal experiences just like that one with some of the other songs that you've written? Um, I try to. Uh, with, you know, the funner songs, I definitely either pull from my personal experience or I write something about someone that's close to me, you know, a friend or a family member that, you know, is song worthy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I feel like if you don't start your song from a place of, you know, realism, then it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to fall flat. I mean, you have to write from real experiences. So um, whenever you, I mean, you're a songwriter, you're also a performer, you perform in so many different places. What's, what is more fun to you, songwriting, putting those personal feelings in, on paper into a song, or sharing them with people live? Oh, sharing them, hands down. Um, I love the stage. I would live up there if I could. Um, you know, from the time I was this big, you couldn't get me off the stage. Uh, and even whether it's cover songs, originals, it it doesn't really matter. I mean, I just, when I get up there, I'm a completely different person. I love to see people dancing. I love to see people moving. I love to talk to people. and It's just unreal how fun that is. Do you ever get the audience, like, you, you were talking about people dancing. Do, pe the, do people in the audience get really involved with your with your music? And have you ever seen anybody singing with you? you like, if you do a cover song or something, you get people involved like that? Yeah, with um, with cover songs, definitely. Um, I love it. I always tell people that it's amazing that just me with a guitar and my voice can get people moving. I mean, it's so cool seeing people, like, dancing and having such a good time and, you know, me singing is what's causing that, and I love it. That's awesome. And I, and I love that, it, it, that you said you're causing that. And, and so, you, you know, you go from one song that's helping people get through a tough time and you go to having people dance at your concerts. And I, I feel like watching one of your one of your concerts would be to say, just say a lot of emotions at one time because <laughs> you, you go from a, a sadder song to a, a really a happy song. And so um, whenever people are watching you or if people are listening to your music at home or, or online or something, do you think, what do you think is one thing that you want people to take away from? from your music and your art? Is that I have fun while I'm on stage. I mean, you see a lot of performers that you can tell they're trying to get, you know, they're trying to get famous or they're trying to get somewhere. I don't care if I live in a one-bedroom apartment. I mean, as long as this is what I do. So I want people to just know that, you know, I have a lot of fun and I enjoy what I do and hopefully people who come see me will enjoy their night. Well, thank you all so much for watching Showcase. Thank you, Hunter, for coming. We'll have another episode with Hunter, and he'll talk more about his acting career and some of the other songs that he's written. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching THP TV. Be sure to catch all of our programs and check out all of our great sponsors. Have a great week.